Good morning, guys. Welcome to Jeff and Rhonda. It's the first trip here to Johnny Safari. Is a Jeff, Rhonda, and Mark show this morning. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mark brought them along, and uh, hopefully we can uh, have a lot of fun. I'm sure we will. We just actually saw a group of hardebeers now that we tried to get onto, and uh, the wind was wrong. So we're going to move on around and get around the wind and try to connect with them again. Oh, it's a wonderful morning. Yeah. Absolutely. This is your guys' first time here. See, if I'd have done this, we'd have... Oh. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. To pull the powder out. Dog on it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. So anyway, let's get going and let's we'll get going. Let's get one try to get around them. All right. Draw some blood. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Can you see where the black is on his leg, Rhonda? Yeah, he's got a black stripe that comes up his leg. Get ready. When he stops. Okay, there, yeah, take him. Again. Yeah. Let's just give him a chance. Well guys, yeah, we have the hearty bears that we spoke about earlier on. Um, we spooked him the first talk this morning. Uh, the wind wasn't quite right for us. Uh, we moved on down the valley and we managed to intercept him. And uh, Rhonda made a great shot. Well done, Rhonda, at 525 yards. It wasn't the best of rests. And uh, yeah, so we've got a really, really nice old bull there. Rhonda, what do you say? It's been a great day in the Karoo. Yeah, and uh, as I say, it's really a nice old bull. There were two bulls in the herd. We picked the older bull of the lot, and he, <laughs> I don't know, we, we lay there for maybe better part of 40 minutes trying to get a decent shot at him. He'd never present a shot, and eventually he did. And as I said, Rhonda made a great shot. And uh, yeah, so let's we'll see what else we get. So on the left, there's three in a group. Right. Not far, yeah, on the left, there's three in a bunch. Right. The middle one of those three. Of those three? Yeah, so you see there's a little one facing us. Right. And then to the right, he's just turned his head. That's the one I want to shoot. There he's walking. He's walking. You see he's in the open now? Yep. You want to take him? Take him. Reload. There he's hopping, he's hopping. Just can you see the one hopping? Look with your naked eye first. Yeah. Can you see him? Yeah. If you can, hit him again, hit him again. There he's standing. You see the only one standing? Wait for the others to move. Wait. Okay. Okay, let's wait for the others to move. Wait for the others to move. All right. You see him right at the back now? He's down. 
Okay. Did you shoot him again? No, he done. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, buddy. <laughs> Oh. oh, he's a dandy. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Well done, video. That was good. He is a dandy. <laughs> <laughs>
I see the hen back there. Did you did you hear that sound? Yes. That that's a zebra calling. So they were down here originally. But I think we must just take our time and walk slowly along the edge. There's a little basin at the front here. We might be able to get a shot through there. Uh, so we're going to get to the, just to this bank here. Yeah. We should probably see below us. So you're on the right, you've got five of them. Mm -hmm. Got one sitting out there by itself. Yeah, but, but he's he's walking to the left. Yeah, in the clearing. In the clearing now, wait. Okay, you see him? Yeah. Take him. Reload. <laughs> yeah, reload though. Reload. I'm just making. It's not going anywhere. Right, yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. Fall in the road for me. Just wait. There we go. There we go. In the road. In the road, please. Wow. That's my boy. That's my boy. How's that? Nobody does it better than Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Oh, well, sorry. Well done, buddy. Oh my gosh. Way to go, my brother. Oh, I'm gonna go drag this out. <laughs> Short like, like rest, man. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, get you a beer for that one, baby. <laughs> what a way to round off our first day in Africa. A great zebra stallion. Got some good spotting there from Rusty. And, uh, you know, you did a great shot at, I think it was between 5.20 and 5.30. You can't remember exactly, but a wonderful lung shot. Zebra ran about 100 yards and piled up in the dirt. That was fun. Well done on our first day, guys. It was a great day, and thanks to everyone. There we go, you see him Rhonda? Moving to the right now. He's the third one in the group. Just keep on following him. He's going behind the bush. See him coming out? Okay, take him. Is it running? Yes. Oh, I'm not bad time, Is it the lower one? Betty. Betty. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's hurt. He got him. You know what? He just went behind the bush. Mm -hmm. He's down. Great shot, Ronda. That's better gun. Good shot. <laughs> wow, what a great shot, Ronda. Perfect. Yep, he's got him. That's a neat looking animal, eh? Pretty. Check how old he is. Look how worn down he is. But he'll make a beautiful flat skin and then. Pretty. That is a pretty animal. Good shot. Well done, Ronda. Got him right dead in the side. A little yeah. far back. A little bit, I mean, it works. It's in the zone. I got my impala at uh, about 328 yards. One shot. A great way to start the day. So, the, those games have, have moved down into this valley here and we're hoping they're going to walk past us below so we're going to get to that where those rocks are and see if we can get you a good spot there. So we must just walk to there okay. and sit and wait and see what happens. One on the left, just wait. You see the one standing yeah. on the left? Yeah. Take him in his shoulder. You hit him far back, reload. You see he's walking into the trees. There's a very prominent dark bush, all by itself, straight. Okay. Very straight. Oh, here? Yes, yeah. Okay. But about, it's about 400 yards away. 463. That game spike's lying to the right of that. He's lying dead. Yeah, right here. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Well done, buddy. <laughs> right here. He's hiding from us. Man, he's a nice bull. Cracky. Look at, look at that mess on him, man. Look at that. That is a beautiful bull, Jeff. Yes, sir. Yeah, look at the mess he's got. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, man. Thank you. That's good. Yeah. You'll see he's even sort of starting to get a bit of the secondary growth yeah. over here on him. But nice and heavy. You yeah. see the cows are generally a little bit longer, uh -huh. but the bases will be about as this thick, where the bull's much heavier. Oh. Well done, buddy. You can see, uh, as I say, yeah, that's called the secondary growth there. But it's really just a beautiful, heavy old bull. And feel how sharp they keep their horns. Yeah. Especially that one. Oof. That's how they get poked in the leg? Yep. So. So this one, okay, another interesting fact. I'm going to be like Ronda today. You'll feel how much more rounder the horn is here and flatter there. Feel that? How round it is there? Yeah. You feel this one is flatter? Yeah, what's the story? He's a left horned Gamesback. He, he uses this horn more than the other. Huh. He's got a left handed, right handed. Yep.
No, not right now. Thank you. So when we get the that's the man Tell Bosch. Some of the best ones we ever had in Argentina. I want to propose a toast, okay? To thank you guys for coming first off. And thank you so much for John X Safari and all you guides and photographers. <laughs> You can explain this trip to a lot of people back home, but until you actually experience it, you have no clue, no clue at all what it's really like. And aside from a <coughs> bleeding nose and not loading my clip, I've had a perfect, perfect <laughs> trip. And I know Lisa has, so <coughs> here's to John X Safari. Thank and to you. all my guests, cheers. 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 Thank you. Clink, clink. See the springbok running up there? Uh-huh. Okay, just get onto those, please. Do you see it walking up on the hill? Yeah. She's just gone past the tree. Yeah. Give it one minute right wind, okay? Okay, there we go. There, shoot get him. Get on him. Are you dialed all the way up? Yep, yep. yep. Okay, take him. Okay, you hit him reload. Uh -uh. Great shot. <sighs> well done, man. <laughs> he's lying through there. Come, come stand over here. Let's go. But he's dead. He's done. Well done. Well done, buddy. That's, that's a nice shot. Great. Beautiful shot, though. Nice old ram as well. Yeah, they're beautiful. I hit them low. Nice old. No, you, no that's perfect. Check it out. Look how old these. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, this is our national animal. Pretty low. Springback. You know, this is our fourth day and our last day in the Karoo. This is one of the icon species in the Karoo, which is the common springback, our national animal. And yeah, so we decided to collect one of these as well to add to Jeff's collection and a great shot, 405 yards, Jeff, with the one minute of wind, pumped him straight through the front of the chest, it was a great shot. Yes, it certainly was, and it is a pretty animal. Yeah, so you get a few different color variants of the springback, this is, as I said, our common springback, then you get a white springback, as we've seen running around here. Yeah and a black springback and a copper springback, but um, that'll have to be for another safari because I guess you can't do everything at once, but that is a great shot, buddy. Well done. Thank you.
So what this was originally, this was like the old wagon where they used to park the wagons. You can see the shape of it. And uh, yeah, we just changed this into the bar. This is the bar area, yeah. Go through. It's gorgeous. Love this good old African wood. Yeah. Check that out. And, and this is typical colonial style. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this used to be the old garage that we, wagon garage, changed. And this is our dining area. Go through there. Gorgeous. Yeah. And if we see a sable like that, we're going to shoot it. Yeah, sure. What is that? A kudu. Kudu right there. Yeah. So yeah, so this is where we eat lunch and supper. And mornings when we have the light, light meal, we just eat right there at the lodge. There's your rug. There's your rug, man. So yeah. Now what is this right here? It's a bushback. Bush yeah. You can also look for one of those underneath. This animal's beautiful, it's a nyala. Yeah. That's, can you shoot those here? Yeah. Alright, line me up. That actually is a pretty mount, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, they do a good job, whoever. Yeah. Same guys doing our stuff? Yeah. Did this? Yes. Not phenomenal. I like this up here polished yeah. off. Yeah. Gorgeous. Okay. okay, should we go for a ride, Let's guys? Let's go for a ride, honey bun. Okay, guys, so welcome to Woodlands. This is our home base of Johnny's Safaris. Drove down to the two hour drive down this morning from uh, Glen Harry, which wasn't too bad, I'd say. But as you'll see, the terrain has changed. Uh, this is our top area, plains area. is about 6,000 acres just at the top of open plains. And this is where the wildebeest sable around blue wildebeest live. So we're going to go and see if we can uh, get one of them. We're going to maybe just try to close the distance a bit today because of this wind, Rhonda. We don't really want to shoot you behind this wind. So let's just go and see what we can do. Sounds right. good. Okay, Thank you. let's go. Look, but let's go down here yeah, and see if we can get him set up. Let's use this bush. Tell you when. Okay, take him on the front shoulder. Wait. I have a shot now. Okay, take him on the front shoulder. That is a great shot. Now uh, you'll see he's. See how he's got the big curves in his horn there and so. Yeah. And this horn he's been fighting more with, it's got chips and stuff in it. It's a beautiful animal. Well done, Rinder. Great Thank stuff, you. nice shot. You got one of these, man. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, it's a majestic animal. Look at that thing. Oh, that's just beautiful. You see, I think that's quite cool. Look how he's been fighting and stuff. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Well done, guys. As I said earlier, we were going to come down onto the plains and look for some wildebeest and, and uh, maybe sable or roan and saw some wildebeest that didn't cooperate and then we spotted this old roan, I mean, sorry, excuse me, old sable coming from the watering hole and we did a sneak on him and one great shot at about 288 yards, put him down and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful animal, ma'am, and well done. It's really, really majestic old bull. Thank you. He's got like one of tip on the one side and a very sharp tip on the other side, but he's a beautiful old bull. Well done. Thanks. Nice animal.
they, they're two bulls, the two that are There's one with narrow horns. Right. But then the, there's one with wider horns. He's a nicer bull. His tips are wider. Okay. He's on the left. He's on the left. Yeah. Take him on the left point of his shoulder. That is a great shot. That was a great shot, my man. I don't think he's going anywhere, sir. <laughs> well, Jeff, congratulations on your own, my man, this morning. Rhonda got a very nice sable. Um, we came out this afternoon, we looked, we had a couple of old roan bulls around. Um, Looked in the area, couldn't find them, did a loop again and we found them and you did a great shot at just over 300 yards but there was a bit of a wind factor um, and you know you did a great shot into the chest, dropped in one shot. Oh thank you. Please, please. See, wait, wait. He's the one on the left, eh? Go more leg. You hit him. Bert him. Bert him, bless. He's going left, watch him. He's gonna get on him. Do you see him? He's gonna go down. Yeah, he's done. He's done. Yes, buddy. Well done. He's definitely not going anywhere, that's for sure. Well, we had one, now we've got two. See, this one hasn't worn his points off and stuff, and he's tall. Cool beans, now a nice one. Oh, my man. There we go. Look at that. Perfect shot. Look at those horns. Yeah, he's cool. Eh? Beautiful. Yeah, he's definitely bigger than the last one. So you there's, that's where you hit him, right? That's where you hit him, sir. Perfect. That is a textbook shot. <laughs> well done.
in the chest. In the chest of the right hand shoulder. Take it. Okay, reload. Reload. <laughs> well done. That's awesome, man. That's good sitting shooting off those sticks. That's Shot, bro. Yes, yeah, I know. No, that's all the Absolutely perfect. In his chest. All down there. But you see that character. Look how old he is. But look at this. Look at that beautiful skin as well. But I mean, he's a good old bull. Well done, my man. Finally. You know, generally to shoot a blue wildebeest, it doesn't really take that long. And uh, we just, you know, things just didn't work out for us. Um, and coming back late this evening, we found this lone old bull, ancient old blue wildebeest by himself. You can see he's got a few scars on him and stuff from fighting. But, well, you know, it's, it's normally, as I said earlier, it normally doesn't take this long to, to get one of these animals. It's, it is a plains animal, uh, but they really gave us a run around. And, you know, you made it count when you had to. So the quartering on shot at about 100 yards, but still, that's not the easy, easy shot of sticks. And you did a great job. Well done. Thank you. Wait for the other one to move low on the shoulder. You can take your time. Squeeze when you. <laughs> I think we're good. The dog's got him. Yeah, that's him. That's the same bull we've been trying. That's it. You see the one point back, one point four. Well done, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Check how thick that point is. Yeah. He obviously damaged that when he was younger. That's why I grew like that. Yeah, yeah some weeble. Yeah, this bugger, he's shot. perfect shot. Jeff, well done, man. We eventually got your kudu day nine and, uh, and made once again a great shot at close on 400 yards. And congratulations, man. Thank you. Job well done, guys. Get, get him on the pickup, go back up to camp, load everything up. Then we're going to go down to the ocean, stay on the, at the resort there and see what else we can get on the hunting areas around there. So this will be our last sort of animal on this property. Well done.
All right, uh, Jeff, so last day of safari. Um, we're going to try and uh, get a bush buck on Yala, and if that doesn't work out, we'll go back down closer to the coast and look for a bounty buck. But there's a little area over the back I want to go sit where I have been seeing a nice bush buck ram and uh, a couple of Nyala bulls is right on the river, so maybe we might get lucky. Um, as I was saying, we've got a bit of a moon at the moment. We're seeing a lot of females and younger animals. So obviously these bigger guys are just holding tight. So let's go sit over there for an hour and see what happens. The one on the left, just wait, take him in his shoulder. Reload. There the ram is there, I can see him sticking out there. It is a great shot there. Perfect. Got him good. Well done, Jeff. That is a great shot, you know, a 200 yard shot, but at a steep stick, a steep angle, and you did well to aim low. And you hit him in his crease quartering, came out the front, and um, let's go and see if we can find a Nyala on the way back up, and if we don't get that, then we'll go hunt a Bontobok down on the coast, but this is the third of your spiraled horned animals, there's four of them, so the only one we're missing is a Nyala, so hopefully we get lucky on the way up, and if we do, let it be, and if not, we'll do the next safari. Fair enough, let's go get them. Well, Jeff, this is our last animal of your first African safari. Congratulations, you got a nice Bontobok here. Um, we went out early this morning for Nyala and Bushback, and as you all know, you got a nice Bushback ram, and uh, we came down here onto the coast, right in the Indian Ocean, and uh, looked over a few Bontobok, and then eventually decided to shoot this ram. He's a really nice old ram. Well done. I appreciate it. I think you guys did a wonderful job, and I won't forget it. Thank you, sir.